This tutorial is for day 14 inside the 30 days of code challenge on HackerRank. Here they have some code which is already defined and we cannot change it. They have a class called difference. They have this private member variable, which is in fact a vector of integers. And then they have this public member variable. Inside the main function, they create an integer called n, then they get a value for that variable. Then they create this vector of integers. And then here they populate the values of this vector. This vector is going to have size n. And once this vector has values, they instantiate the different class by creating this object called d. Then they pass it this vector that they just created here. Then they call the compute difference on this object of type difference. And this compute difference is supposed to update the value of this maximum difference member variable, which is what they have right here. So we need to write our code here, which is basically completing the definition for this difference class. We need to find the maximum absolute difference between any two numbers inside of the vector. So the vector here is elements. And then we need to store that maximum difference inside of the maximum difference instance variable. I'm going to paste my solution code here. Once I get this vector, I copy all the elements from this V parameter into my elements vector. So I use the pushback function and I push every element from this vector inside of my elements vector. Then I create the compute difference method. It's a void method because it does not return anything. All it has to do is update the value of this variable. So to update it, it needs to compute the maximum absolute difference between any two numbers inside of our vector. To do that, I have this minimum integer variable. And at first, I assume that my first element inside of my vector and my second element are both the minimum and the maximum at the same time. Now I need to search for the actual minimum value and the real maximum value. I have a for loop and I'm moving through my vector elements by elements. And at every iteration, I'm verifying if I need to update my minimum value. To achieve that, I'm comparing the value of the elements at the current iteration, which is num here, with what I've recorded as my current minimum value. Whatever is the minimum is going to be updated inside this minimum variable. I repeat the same logic to find my maximum value by comparing the value of num at the current iteration with whatever I've recorded as my maximum value. Once I'm done with this for loop, I calculate what is the difference between my final maximum value and my final minimum value. Let's run this code now to make sure that we are able to pass the test cases. We've passed all the three sample test cases. So let's submit this code and we've passed all the test cases. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.